All right. So good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Um, could you start us off by telling us uh, your name and maybe how old you are? Sure. My name is Sarah Labresh and I am 18 years old. Perfect. And how long have you been involved in Special Olympics Rhode Island? I have been involved in Special Olympics for 10 years. 10 years. Okay. And throughout the 10 years, um, what sports have you participated in? I have participated in basketball, track and field, golf, bowling, and snowshoeing. Wow. Honestly, I don't even know what snowshoeing is. Um, do you, are one of those um, your favorite out of those four? Yes. Um, my favorite one is track and field. Track and field? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Um, and then what is your, um, do you have a favorite memory that involves uh, Special Olympics Rhode Island? Yes, I do. My best memory is um, me and my dad were selected to light the cauldron at opening ceremonies. Wow. That's incredible. How, uh, how did you come about getting that opportunity? If you don't mind me asking. Um, like, how did I get an opportunity to, um, to light the, the cauldron at the to light the cauldron? I think you and Daddy were just um, very much involved, and you were selected by Special Olympics. Yeah, we were we were pretty much involved. We were selected by Special Olympics. That makes sense. Yeah, for that honor. For honor. That's incredible. That's awesome. Um, another question I had is: um, Are there any other members? Um, outside of the cauldron um, that you might want to tell us? You can think about kind of your times with Special Olympics and what do you, what do you think? Um, I think opening ceremonies is always fun. I agree. Right? I agree. Opening, opening ceremonies is like my favorite part because I get to see like all the teams and I even have some friends from other teams as well. And being on the athlete. And I am, I am also a member of the Athlete Leadership Council. And you get to plan the dances, the neon And dance. I got to like plan stuff yeah. like the dance and like, and like what theme it's going to be. Yeah. Stuff like that. that. Sounds great. Sounds great. Um, another question I have is what do you think people should uh, – know about when it comes to like Special Olympics and what it stands for? Um, so I think Special Olympics um, is a place where any athlete can go and feel welcome and participate based on their ability, not their disability. Gotcha. So it's a very like inclusive environment, um, which mm -hmm. is awesome. So I play uh, mm -hmm. on the men's soccer team at Providence College. And I definitely, I definitely see the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. Although it's just a sport, I definitely see that everybody on the team definitely, definitely makes it welcome and, and definitely brings everybody uh, um, along the ride. Um, mm -hmm. And then the last question I had for you, um, is there just anything else you might want to share? Um, I know I asked if there was another story, but maybe um, like a personal takeaway or um, – something that Special Olympics Rhode Island has provided you um, after, after you might have joined it? Um, yeah, um, it has helped me like socialize with others and, and, I, and that's how I made lots of friends. Um, um, I, do, I do have a disability. I have, um, when I was close about three years old, I was notified that I was diagnosed with autism and sometimes I have a, I have a difficult time with like socializing with others and having to be in like big crowds and Special Olympics has completely helped me to like get myself over with the big crowds and with other people. Gotcha. 